I had my graduation ceremony after the testing. It's kind of unique. Some of you know the story. When I learned from Grandmaster Zheng Xingping, we had no DVDs, no videos, no books. Every day or that we go to practice, you're getting thrown from four to six hours at a clip. Our Sunday class started at 10, ended at four. You only leave the floor to go to the bathroom or drink some warm water, and that's it. <laughs> okay. We never challenged him, we never questioned him. At the end of 12 years, he had a surprise for us. We didn't know. He actually went to Taiwan and had, I have this now in my living room. It's about four feet high by a foot and a half high. Like he had this hand carved, and the wood comes from a special mountain in China, and it's all in gold leaf. So across the top is the Jungo Suai Jiao, which is Chinese Suai Jiao. Over here is the words from our school flag, okay, spreading Chinese cultural heritage through martial arts, we make friends. And over here is it's his name as Zheng Xingping, okay, Sifu, presenting it to our first generation of students, and it has a date that I was tested and received my black belt with my six classmates. Um, his whole premise was he was not teaching us as students. His goal was to teach us as instructors. So I appreciate that, and since it's kind of difficult to carry a four-foot sign, and we only have one, <laughs> or a four-foot flag and there's only one, right? I, Reduce it in size, and I want to present this to Sifu to take back to New York and appreciate the memory of him presenting it to us. Okay. And what you need to know is he has been voted in, and he's been published in a book as amongst one of the 1,000 most influential Chinese Americans, Chinese people in America. And his contribution was introducing Sui Jiao to the public and continuing to promote it since 1971 pretty effortlessly. He's 78 years old now, he's still going pretty strong. Okay, so I want to present this to Sifu. Okay, thank you very much.